Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel, it's Vani G's and today I have a really interesting nail video for you guys. I'm absolutely in love with these nails. I was inspired by a few things. Um, first was this nail page that I saw on Instagram. Her name is Nail by Tav and she is absolutely amazing. I love her designs and I saw her do these nails that had like actual pieces of like electronics and wires and all types of stuff in her nails um, or in one of her clients nails and I thought it was so cool so I decided to go ahead and recreate that look I also was inspired by those clear phones um those house phones from like back in the day um I don't know if you guys remember that but um yeah so I took apart this old samsung phone that i had laying around in the house and it was a task taking that apart but i wanted to use real pieces because it looked like that's what she used so i broke it up and i created all my little pieces and i just put on some coffin nail tips um i have everything that i use linked down below but i put in put on these coffin nail tips and i just put them on with base gel I didn't prep my nails of course because I have to you know take my nails on and off so I don't prep my nails I want them to be able to come off easily without damaging my nails so I'm just putting all the pieces into clear builder gel hard gel I thought that I always use builder gel I use IBD gel for all of my sets but I'm going to be switching over to acrylic um I think I'm done with gel. Gel is great, but I just hate the bubbles. I hate the air bubbles. Um, I know you can get bubbles with acrylic, but I just hate it. Um, yeah, so the hardest part about doing this set, I feel like was not laying everything down. Um, I just had to move my hands around a lot and look at it from different angles just to make sure it looked right and it made sense. Um, I actually wanted it to kind of look like it was actually like working parts like they actually were supposed to be together and work together so i wanted to look like wires or like coming out of certain pieces um and making sure it looks like it made sense kind of even though it's just random pieces all stuck together so i just took a thick like base layer of builder gel and i would just pull out different pieces and see what fit um, it was hard to like make every nail look different but also look like they all went together um, I really love the green pieces I feel like those pieces and the wires really make it come to life I had to do a lot of chopping up and editing all types of stuff because it was a struggle filming this video for some reason my light kept dying so some parts of the video are edited out because either my light died or it was just getting kind of frustrating like trying to put certain pieces on i think the wires were probably the hardest part because they wouldn't go flush to the nail they would kind of like bulk up or do certain things that was just irritating but yeah i think these are so cool and i think this set is really beginner friendly um if you know how to encapsulate glitters or if you know how to encapsulate just period um, and you're just learning, I feel like you can do this. I feel like it would be much easier to do this with acrylic. Um, I feel like it would be way easier because gel just kind of like floats everywhere and I know how to use gel and I watched a video on how to reduce the bubbles, the air bubbles and the nails. And the trick is to not lift up your lift up your brush from the nail, like keeping your nail on there and just floating it over and not like creating air by moving your brush up and down or lifting it up. But unfortunately, I had to keep going back in or doing certain things, moving my hands certain kind of ways. So it was hard to not get those bubbles. I really wanted these to be super duper clear, but I still like how they turned out in the end um i want you guys to tell me what you think about these nails um 
and leave comments down below what nails do you want to see from me next if you want to see any <laughs> um i have a lot of hand painted nail art videos coming up make sure you guys uh go and follow my nail page instagram um you can follow my main instagram and i have a main youtube channel so if you guys want to follow that you can um, I'm so excited to create more nails, especially since the semester is over. I'm going to take this little bit of winter break to really get some content out here. So thank you guys so much for watching um, and enjoy the rest of the video. I'm just going to end up. Oh, I have to remind you guys, I didn't get to get all the encapsulation. I only got my thumb because my light died and I wanted to get all the encapsulation in there but it died and I had the craziest heat spike on my thumb oh my gosh this thumb that I encapsulated the heat spike was crazy I thought that the stuff that I put in my nails was like catching on fire I was like oh no I messed up I was so paranoid but it didn't catch on fire it just <laughs> I don't know what happened um it just was it was a really bad heat spike um and that's another reason I want to move away from gel because the heat spikes sometimes are crazy um I have found ways that reduce heat spikes like to where the point where you don't have them turning the lamp um down like the strength or the wattage or whatever turning that down and like moving your hand in and out of the lamp but that's just too much. I just rather just start using acrylic. And I feel like glitter encapsulations also look better with acrylic. But now I'm rambling. But yeah, like I said, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and tell me what type of videos you would like to see from me in the future. I'm getting really, 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 really into hand-painted nail art. Um, I have a lot of hand-painted nail art over on my instagram my nail instagram nails by g's and um yeah so make sure you go follow that and love you so much i'll talk to you guys tomorrow